All right, so now we're going to look at how to create um, words out of different materials. Okay, so for instance, if I had the word fire, and I change that into block letters by tracing around, the style could be that we're going to actually add something to it. So for instance, fire is just a number of triangles that then get curvy. All right, and that's basically how fire is formed. So up on here, you can do your straight triangles or you can go right into curvy triangles and set your letters on fire, all right? You could also have the word gum. Okay, you do your block letters, get it started. And gum is really bubbly, so you might want to make a circle around each one to make them into bubble letters. Now, it doesn't all have to stick together, but you certainly could stick them together. And as always, you erase the inside so you can see what's happening. But you change the letters to represent the material that you're doing, okay? Ice, if you're thinking about ice cubes, maybe the edges are round, okay? Like ice cubes. You can even like do a little shiny spots on the ice to make it look a little bit colder, okay? You can also do snowflakes or something, or crystals that make it look a little bit more like ice. All right, or you could have something like um, the word crack, and your word could actually have cracks in it. All right, you could have pieces missing. Okay, but again, you can make your letters represent the idea that you're trying to get across. And so we'll look at stuff online of different graffiti artists who have done this and use them for inspiration for your own words. Now remember, if I'm doing the word angry, oh, R, or the word R, because that seems to be what I'm doing, maybe this would be a good word to set on fire but would not be a good word to turn into ice, okay? Maybe anger isn't cold, but anger is hot. Maybe excited is something that's bouncy, like a ball, um, but excited wouldn't be doing something else. So think about your word and think about how it relates to the way that you're doing the material.